I need a place. I need a place to put this. Can you see that green right there? Uh huh. When it turns That's my red, volume. It's clipping. Okay. That's your volume. All right. All right. Good afternoon, everybody from the Rose City Classic here in Portland, Oregon. We are back live again by popular demand. Hardly seems likely, but there it is. And the Hound Group is our first group this evening, judged by Sharon Saxon. And we have the dogs just now coming in. So welcome for joining. Thank you for joining us. Okay, everybody remember this is Sunday in the end of a very long set of shows. You might not see as many people here and uh, judging might go a little quicker because everybody's tired. So our Borzoi this evening is grand champion Ash Toria's My Secret Agenda, bred by Robin Reel and owned by Robin and Kenneth Porter. And uh, Borzoi, of course, once upon a time, known as a Russian wolfhound. Also might like to add that uh, we are providing registered names by popular demand from people who uh, had indicated that they wanted to hear specifically who these dogs were that won. So if there's any judges listening to our live stream broadcast, shh, don't pay attention to that part. <laughs> the Rhodesian Ridgeback this evening, Kuga, once again with Andy Linton. Owned by Alice Wall. Believe me, it's the last day of the show. It doesn't matter. It? Yeah, that's true. It's, it, Phil reminds me, it's the last day of the show. So Bred by here. George and Alicia Moore Hannah. <laughs> Afghan Hound this evening is grand champion of Viva Because. Bred by. Mr. and Mrs. Basich, owned by Jay Moore and Beverly and Tabitha Buckley. And I do believe this is Tabitha who's showing her. Hound again this evening is Grand Champion Fario Anubis Inferno Senior Courser, dog that uh, does a lot of other activities besides be a show dog, bred by Maria Westman in Sweden, I do believe, and owned by Debbie Cooper and Garth Clayton. I want to say I love this judge because she's giving me a beautiful view. Yes, she is indeed. Did Lauren miss her mark? <laughs> a little. Well, 
front of the table. Okay. For all of you handlers that might be listening to the live stream, there is an X marks the spot on the floor. The Saluki this evening is being handled by Lauren House. And this particular Saluki is Grand Champion Parfait Enchanted Forest, bred by Stephanie House and Karen Kelly Burns and more of the House family, and uh, owned the same name. So this is Lauren showing a dog she bred and owns. Somebody said they missed the Beezer coming in, but I don't see a Beezer out The there. Ibethan Hound, um, according to the catalog that we had marked, the judge's book, was not shown, was not exhibited today in the classes. So it's therefore not being represented in the group ring tonight. The Irish Wolfhound this evening, of course the tallest of the dogs. The Irish Wolfhound is Grand Champion Dragon Star's Riley Rowan. This is bred by Donna Kaczynskas, Paul Harris, Rafaela Pope, owned by Betsy Darnall and John Darnall, and this is quite possibly Betsy herself. And they are from up in Tumwater, Washington. Somebody from Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia is where my family emigrated to from England. We're in here watching. That's mm -hmm. cool. That's very cool. And there we have Ms. Tiffany Skinner again. Uh, Tiffany Skinner showing the black and tan coon hound. And this particular black and tan coon hound is championed Windborn Humble and Kind. Uh, breeder and owner is Shelly Campbell. So I'm right here nearby in Malala, Oregon. South Dakota person. Welcome, South Dakota. Snowy South Dakota. And it's lots colder there than it is here, guys, I'm pretty sure. And the Harrier this evening is champion Blythemore's Chance of a Lifetime. Uh, bred and owned by Margie Dixtra, also owned by Garrett Maplethorpe. Another local dog. I have a good friend that's a pilot of a Harrier. Yeah? Yeah. That's so an airplane. A dog. <laughs> you didn't know there was a Harrier that was a dog? I didn't until I wow. started going to dog shows. Okay. There you go. Harriers are kind of the sort of medium-sized hounds. You've got the beagles, and then you have the Harriers, and then you have the fox hounds. And the whippet again this evening is being shown by Andy Linton's assistant, Stephanie Salas. And she is Grand Champion Rainier's Fame and Fashion of Endeavor. Bred by Linda Stewart and Janine Shepard and owned by those two ladies as well. Stephanie, a longtime dog kid, started going to dog shows with her dad when she was just itty. I can remember her when she was like seven. So it's part of the fun of going to dog shows over a period of time. You get to see people grow up. Miss Basenji. This Basenji is Grand Champion Membrae's Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker with many, many titles, which is impressive. Trick titles and CGC titles, very impressive for a Basenji. Read by Michelle Smith Barber and Brianna Barber, owned by Dwayne Lazor and O. Rios and uh, the Breeders. 
going to guess they're Star Wars fans. And I'm guessing, yes, definitely Star Wars fans. I, I'm thinking they probably saw the movie when it came out. And, you know. They're hoping the Force is with them today. That's good. I like that, Phil. The Force be with you. Nice little dog. And tonight's Chernenko, I believe, is Juno. And that is Emily Carriage handling. Yes, this is Grand Champion Kermus and Juno. Uh, bred and owned by Cheryl McDermott and shown here by Emily Carriage. Some people might not know that Cheryl is a fan. Yes, yeah, Cheryl McDermott is actually a very, a very uh, well-known and respected veterinarian in the uh, Centralia area. Ethel, Ethel, Ethel Washington. Ethel Washington, there you go. And uh, does a lot of breeder clinics um, for her clients. That's and, fantastic. Yeah, yep. the breeder days. Yep. yep, she does a lot of, a lot of work in the fancy. Chernenko's relatively new to the hound group. Some people think they look kind of like a miniature feral hound. And the PBGV this evening is again handled by Mark Pettis. This is Grand Champion Just Texas Prime and bred by Julie Shannon, owned by Marianne Mori. And like I told you guys, this is going to go a whole lot quicker than it did last night. People are ready to go home. A lot of people here. Judges need to catch airplanes. Judges want to get on a plane. People, many of the people at these shows have been. This is week number three of long, long, grueling circuits that started in Palm Springs and went to Puyallup, Washington, and now they're ending up here. And so, these are some hardworking folks. This is the 15-inch beagle that we didn't get to see last night, so we're excited to see this one. This is Leslie Hiltz showing Champion Lady in Black, Zandrina, and she's bred by Jadwiga Zolk and owned by David and Leslie Hiltz and Elizabeth Roseback. Leslie, of course, is an AKC judge of multiple breeds, and uh, always important to remember that judges are breeders too, and they like to be able to get to show their dogs that's why they started going to dog shows is because they like their dogs and they want to do it so once again judges are people too wanted somebody's bait was left. yes well eagles do like to scrounge on the ground something about being a scent hound yes oh, they use company. their little noses and here you go, the 13-inch beagle. So now you get the husband and wife team. This is actually David Hilt showing this dog. This is grand champion Pankotsky, Treasure of the Heart, uh, bred by Dr. Oleg Volashin and Dr. Oksana Gavrilova, owned again by David Hiltz and Oleg Volashin. So is the 13, 15 the length or the height? It's the height. Not the width. I think. Not the width, okay. although I have seen a few pet beagles that you'd wonder. The 13 inch beagle, this particular dog, is not to be taller than 13 inches. The 15 inch beagle is to be over 13 inches, but not over 15 inches. And so height becomes very important. And you look at the proportion, you look at the, the head type, you can see a little bit of difference usually between a 13 and a 15. This little tail is pretty exciting. I know. It looks like a rudder. Right? How cute. I, I love the little pocket beagles. I mean, how... Mm -hmm. The uh, long-haired docks in this evening, shown by William Bagginstocks. And I believe that this is Milo. Last night, Milo was shown by Luke, her husband. And yes, this is Grand Champion Bedazzled Grand Marnier of MT, bred by Julie Nielsen and Meredith Taylor and Carly Trumbauer, and owned by the Breeders. I gotta tell you, I've met this dog in person. This is a very cool dog. And Milo and, and Rowan are a great, great team. Done quite a bit of winning together. So for you uh, Pure Dog Talk listeners who are handlers who are watching, you'll notice that Rowan made a particularly 
distinct move there. She got down on her knees to do the free stack so that she could bring his neck up and over uh, for the for the free stack presentation. So that's something that not everybody can do, but when you have the chance, it makes a pretty picture. Sure was out at the end of that lead. Oh yeah, he goes. Uh, this is Tammy Seidlitz. She, uh, they won apparently smooth dachshunds with a class bitch. This is a standard smooth open bitch. Uh, Dublin Creek Fun in the Sun at Windfall. Bred by Susan O'Reilly and Sharon Carr and Joseph Carr. Owned by Patricia Wearies and Susan O'Reilly. Shout out, Patricia. I know you were watching and listening last night. Here's your little girl. She looks pretty cute. Now where is this dog from? The dachshund? Yeah. Uh, this dachshund or the dachshund breed? This dachshund is owned in Dublin, California. Okay. So this one's not from this area. Luke and Tammy Seidlitz are Northern California handlers. Uh, Luke Seidlitz here with the wire hair dachshund. Uh, this is Grand Champion Wiretap's Life is a Highway. And uh, that is dog is owned by Janet Ryan. Uh, uh, bred by Janet Ryan and owned by Patty Wearies. So, same owner on both the coat varieties and dachshunds in smooth and wire. It's pretty common if you have a husband and wife team showing for a client that has multiple coat varieties in a breed, etc., um, that they will be able to compete in the different varieties. And that is the end of that group. Man, it seemed like that flew by. 18 minutes. Yep. Well done, Mrs. Saxon. <laughs> Shoot. And uh, Mrs. Saxon is going to take a look at her lineup here and uh, start sorting out who she'd like to see in the cut. Possibly. Quite the line. It is a very nice group of dogs. Once again, our next group this evening will be the non-sporting group. Looks like she's making a cut. Is she going to make a cut? What are we doing here? She's thinking about what she wants to do and how she wants to do it. Okay. She's pulled out the Rhodesian Ridgeback. And goes Kuga. I think she's having them uh, do some acrobatics with her. Okay, the Whippet, the Basenji, the PBGV, and the Wire Dachshund. And hopefully she picks one more because it's always rough to be that last man standing. And the Borzoi. Okay, very good. Owner handled. The Senji and our handled Borzoi, definitely out there playing with the big guns. Alright, now she's going to take a little bit of a second look at the this particular group of six dogs she has in her cut. I always feel like we need a squirrel to run out here. To see the squirrel! Chase the squirrel. You know what? I can tell you right now, I've had it happen. It's not a pretty picture. <laughs> Definitely not a pretty Usually picture. Usually those outdoor shows. Yeah, it's the outdoor shows, and all of a sudden your whippet's ears are just pointing straight in the air. This is not pretty. Okay, so we're making a big circle and coming back to... Where are we? Uh, there we go. Okay. All right. That's the whippet. The judge is lining those dogs up for us perfectly. Uh, this judge is definitely, there you go, nicely done with the owner handler, the Senji. Got one dog facing the wrong one. Yeah, that's because they want to show the color on that side rather than the lack of color on the other side. And sometimes... I just figured it was a Basenji and a Whippet one to talk. Yeah, I know. That's what the Basenji, or the Whippet wanting to show off the particular... <laughs> markings on that side of the dog and the handlers decided that's the best way to present it. All right, there you go. Rhodesian Ridgeback first, Wire Dachshund second, 
PBGV third and the Whippet fourth. Well done and congrats to one and all.